I am honored to have the opportunity to do this presentation for the Lost History Channel. I'm Amaterasu Solar. Check out my channel linked below. And it is my pleasure to present the Metaromuli. These days, there's only one pyramid in Rome, the Pyramid of Cestius, built in the 1st century BC and recently restored. But there was once another pyramid, apparently even larger and more impressive. What was the inspiration for the Romans building pyramid structures in Rome? Yes, Rome once had two pyramids constructed in the ancient past, first thought to have been mentioned in the 5th century, where in writings by Helenus Acron he mentions that the ashes of Publius Cornelius Scipio Africanus were taken from a pyramid in the Vatican. Wait till you hear this. Known as the Metaromuli, but also called the Pyramide Vaticana, a pyramid that once stood on the Vatican plain. But what was its function? Of this pyramid, no trace remains in the contemporary urban fabric of Rome. It is not known how old it was or what its function was. The existence of the monument is known mainly through the succinct descriptions present in the guides of Rome, dating back to the 12th to 14th centuries written in medieval Latin and in the vernacular for the benefit of pilgrims and travelers. It was a popular belief during the Middle Ages that Metaromuli housed the tombs of the legendary founders of Rome, Romulus and Remus. According to the 15th century accounts, the Metaromuli was constructed to a height of between 32 to 50 meters and covered an area of 625 meters squared. The interior was apparently accessed via a long tunnel that led to a 10.5 meter tall inner chamber containing four niches that may have held the cremated burials of the legendary founders. According to Heritage Daily, the Mirabilia Urbis Romae, a 12th century guide of Rome, describes by the Namachia stands the tomb of Romulus, which is called Mitta, and was covered with fine stone marble, out of which the floor and the stairways of St. Peter's were made. It had a 20-foot open space around it, with its own drainage gutter and flowers. Despite the important religious significance of the Metaromuli, in A.D. 1498, Pope Alexander VI ordered its demolition to make way for the planned Via Alessandrina, a road which would connect the Vatican with a bridge across the River Tiber. However, in a letter written to Pope Leo X in 1519 by the Italian painter and architect Raphael, he describes how he could still see the remains of the monument decades later. In 1948, during works for the construction of the first block of the north side of Via della Conciliazione, the foundations of the Metaromuli were discovered in today's Borgo district of Rome. But what do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below and as always, thank you for watching.